Putin with a daily temperature in Anchorage can be modeled using a sinusoidal graph. We also know that on one day the average temperature occurred at 9 a.m. and the high and low temperatures were 20 and 10 degrees respectfully. If t equal to 0 represents the temperature at midnight, we want to find the equation of the form y equal to a sine of bx plus c plus our vertical shift d that can be used to model the situation. Then we are asked for what time did the temperature reach its maximum value in our one cycle interval. The first thing that we will do is we will know that our temperature on this day ranged from 10 degrees to 20 degrees. This gives us our average value, or D, of 15 degrees. We know D is equal to 15. We also know that our amplitude is the maximum deviation from the center, which would give us A equaling 5. We are now ready to find our period. We know that this is a daily temperature, therefore our period is 24 hours. To find B, we know that our period of a sinusoidal graph is given by 2 pi over B. We need that to be 24. That tells us B is equal to pi over 12. We now are ready to find C as we have that the average temperature of 15 degrees happened at 9 a.m. What we know is the low temperature must have occurred 6 hours before 9 a.m. and the high temperature has to occur 6 hours after since our period is 24 and this one cycle of the sine graph will take that period and divide it into four equal pieces. Therefore we know our low temperature happened at t equal to 4 or 4 a.m. and our high temperature happened 6 hours after 9 a.m. or 3 p.m. which is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, t equal to 15 or 3 p.m. As we sketch this partial cycle of our temperature, we are now ready to find our phase shift. We will recognize that our phase shift is taking the average value of a sine function that starts at the origin and starts increasing to that high point and then back to the average value got shifted to t equal to 9. We can find this phase shift or find our function in two different ways. We know our phase shift is equivalent to the opposite of c over b and we want that to be 9. Therefore, we would know that c is equal to the opposite of 9 times b and we know that b is pi over 2. So c is equal to the opposite of 9 times pi over 12 both divisible by 3, we get c is equal to negative 3 pi over 4. This gives us our equation of y equal to a sine of b minus 3 pi over 4 plus 15. Another way we can look at that phase shift is we can say that in factored form we are factoring out that pi over 12 and when we factor out that pi over 12 we want our phase shift to move to the right 9 units or t minus 9 plus our 15. If we distribute that pi over